to the Stay Away From The Search Bar podcast. So we call it the Stay Away From The Search Bar podcast. <laughs> For reasons. For reasons. <laughs> yeah. um, <clears throat> my friends, Rue and Harvey, were at my house one night and um, Rue was like, hey, let me put on some music. And I said, uh, yeah, you know, sure, just stay away from the search bar. <laughs> because, you know, Google has this thing where it wants to autofill stuff for you. And, uh, for example, if you were to type in the letter P in my search bar, uh, you might get some results. <laughs> might. Results uh, indeed. Uh, it'd be pestily. <laughs> no. I was going to look up some Christopher maybe, but you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Found I? something else instead. <laughs> uh, Pornhub definitely comes up. Uh, and if you would, you know, like some specifics, uh, Cisweat <laughs> is uh, the model cam girl that uh, populates. <laughs> what, about, what about you guys? You know? <laughs> uh, I don't know. You're the one that showed me Sarah Jean Underwood. So, yeah. you know, that's on my search bar. I don't know if she does any Pornhub videos, though. No. Yeah, probably not, but, you know, Google Hub. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, Google will still pull it out, probably. <laughs> hmm, Sarah Jean. Playboy, so, yeah, it'll probably come up. You know, Playboy, Sarah Jean Underwood. There we go. <laughs> I screenshotted mine and sent it to you. I'm trying to find mine. It's like, it's it's a damn like, screen cap. Yeah. Like, yeah. No, it was Harvey's was, like, dead center. It was Pornhub was the autofill. <laughs> yeah, it's the only place you see it. <laughs> Like, everywhere else, like, it's pretty, like, if you just read the actual search engine, like, itself, it was pretty pedestrian. Uh, it was in the, it was in our little group chat. Yeah, it was in our group chat. Yeah, right here. Uh, you want me to read it? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> so, Publix, Pizza Hut, Papa John's, and then down here on the bottom, where it'll actually autofill the word, is Pornhub. Yeah. So, actually, his search history is pretty clean. It's just... Phone, that's the dirty, naughty boy. It's a dirty phone. <laughs> it's the phone trying to look up the boobies. Yep, damn phone. Always getting me in trouble. Fucker. I'd be a little suspect, though, if uh, somebody didn't have that on their phone, you know? I mean, they're like, what, you don't, you don't, you don't like boobs? Some people you don't, don't, some people don't, uh, like, watch porn or consume it because they think it's, it's wrong, not for religious reasons, but for, like, more moral reasons. Huh. Um, so there's, like, non-christian christians if that makes any sense i guess it's probably the closest thing i can think of it's like people just see it as like this part of society that's acceptable by everyone else but it's not they think that they're they're superior they have moral high ground because yeah. they don't they don't consume it so there are definitely people out there that don't okay, use that porn. Makes sense. yeah um and also there's people that are addicted to it so they they it, it causes them problems or like 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 gambling addiction like someone yeah. has a porn addiction to the point where they're like you know uh buying uh, only fans account like, like yeah. stuff or like and always see all their money on it you know somebody shared a picture on my Facebook of um, only fans yeah oh yeah and it was just a, a <laughs> room full, full of fans, fans. yes <laughs> Bro. So this is where everyone so is So that's not at. what it is? is no. It's not. Yeah. Oh. I would actually subscribe to that. Yeah, <laughs> really. Do I get some good I'm deals? a huge metal fan. Yeah. It's just, it's really big and metal and it spins. It's awesome. It's fucking cool. Only fan. Like, oh my god. There could literally be like an actual website now called like... I think there's actually a, oh, a business called OnlyFans Only. and it's actually Stay like, away from the search yeah, bar. Stay away from the search yeah. bar. Okay, okay. Welcome to episode one. Yeah. Officially. I want actual OnlyFans. Like, not... <laughs> Like, only actual fans? Yeah, maybe? only yeah. actual fans. <laughs> <laughs> only actual fans. I want or just this, actual fans, uh, you know? Only actual fans. <laughs> I want this website to exist. <laughs> Somebody needs to jump on this. Who hasn't done this yet? Please Man, do this. Like if, you, if you're a warehouse business, if you have a surplus of fans... You need to go ahead and open up Plug them in, turn them on, <laughs> spin them up. <laughs> Film it. Like only dash fans, only underscore. Put it into a loop. I would imagine there's probably going to be a little bit of overspill for people looking for only fans and they come across that and they'll be like, oh, I do need some fans. Yeah. <laughs> like, dude, it's perfect. Like, I live in Florida. It's hot as fuck. Yeah, yeah. totally. Yeah. Yeah. There's your does, market right there. Does this website cool me down? You just turn it on and play like, all these fans. <laughs> Fucking sweet technology. It's a bunch of fucking drones that just yeah. show up out of nowhere and just start fanning. <laughs> drones go... <laughs> Amazon's got a totally untapped market at this point. Come on, dude. Mobile air you conditioning You know, that's services. it. Podcast over. We're going to start our we OnlyFans website. <laughs> that's actually fans. Only actual fans. There we go. We're going to have preferences. Like I said, you know, metal fans. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Cheap plastic fans. <laughs> Are there any other kind of fans? Ceiling fans? Ceiling fans. 
do like decorative art fans, like you know, like the like the I forget what they're called. They're like those huge leaves. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> Yeah, stealing <laughs> people with leaves, dude. <laughs> like, yeah. like ancient Egyptians you or something. Actually, yeah, yeah, <laughs> you can just hire one. With a giant leaf while you sit outside. They get Uber to your house. And drink your mimosa. <laughs> <laughs> That's what people do, right? I guess. Old rich people do, yeah, prefer mead. <laughs> prefer some mead. <laughs> you might just get somebody to come over and like blow on you. Then. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! What movie was that from? Um. I think it was Robin Hood Men in Tights where there was, uh, uh, what's his, John something, one of the comedians, he's in the bathtub and they're blowing the bubbles for him. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> Getting a bubble bath. Yep. Oh, my God. Uh, just an untapped market out there. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's probably illegal. <laughs> <laughs> so, so speaking of websites that like kind of play off other words, man, Penis Land. What? I'm sorry, Penn Island. Oh. <laughs> Penn, I- Penn Island. That's, that, there, there, there you go. That autofills when you type in the letter P. <laughs> Penis Land. <laughs> Is a fucking website. Penn Island Pens. Penn Island Pens. Wow. Yeah, dude, you want some... I- you need I've, some pens? <laughs> they make, like, really nice pens, is that their thing? I, it seems so. <laughs> I mean... This can... website seems legit. It could be average. It could be average <laughs> pen. <laughs> average pen. <laughs> your pen is your, our business. <laughs> your penis, our business. <laughs> your penis, our business. <laughs> Just put them together there. <laughs> These guys are, they, they specialize in, this is a joke site. We specialize in wood. Come on. This is a Finest joke site. quality custom pens. <laughs> oh my god, yep. dude. <laughs> and they specialize in wood pens, so. Handling, Handling the big jobs. Big jobs. Okay, come on. Something is, this, this website's a little sus. A little sus? <laughs> Look, all the colors are there. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're just aware of. Penn Island being a penis yeah. island. Yeah, totally. Penis <laughs> land. Yeah, penis penis land. land. Uh, yeah, one of my old bosses showed uh, me that website. That's <laughs> great. Good on him. Yeah. I'm like, I'm not typing that in my work computer, bro. You type it in your work computer and show it to me. Show it to you. Yeah, no, oh, man. show me penis land. I forget that normal people have to worry about what they search in their work computer. <laughs> Where do you get an independent store by, like... Yeah, I really don't have that problem. Yeah, like, not that I go and, like, look up, like, inappropriate, like, like, inappropriate things like, like, porn or stuff like that, you know? That's what my phone is for. Yeah, that's what my phone is for. Um, But I will look up, you know, questionable things for sure, you know, like, I I go on 4chan, you know, and and, and I do frequent the board that shall not be named. Anarchist cookbook? Um, Ah. No, you, you go to, you go to that website. Yeah. Oh, no. s- and I go to X um, oh, and, and a couple a, other ones. What is X? That's the paranormal one. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. I like the paranormal one. There's a lot of cool, cool people on there, right. and a lot, usually cool stories. Cool um, story, bro. I was <laughs> is that, like creep, some creepy pasta. Uh, so that's where a lot of creepy pasta originates from, for sure. Is from X. Let's not, uh, hold on. Let's not gloss over 4chan real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Like the fucking cesspool yeah. of the internet. Okay, no, okay. Just because it it har- harbors the asshole of the internet doesn't mean it it is. It's just close to it. It's the Florida of the. Yeah. <laughs> it's the colon. Yeah. yeah. Whereas, like you know, so this is the way I look at it. Reddit is the front page of the internet, whereas it looks right 4- into it. Four chan is the end of where. The regular internet ends and the beginning of the dark web starts. Oh, man. It's the buffer. It's the buffer <laughs> zone. And the board that shall not be named uh, is is the is the gateway to yeah. to said said place. That's, and that's the only place I've ever been to on 4chan, so I'm not really doing it justice. I'm sure there are some legit... Oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, X is one of the... Well, the par- is the paranormal thread on 4chan, and I fucking love that place. Okay. Like, there's other other places on 4chan that are, are definitely worth going and, and frequenting. <laughs> Um, but yeah, but no, one, everyone always focuses on the board that shall not be named. So, oh man, yeah, <laughs> that's a blast. But man, I remember spending many, a many a nights with my old roommate in 2009, fucking trolling around on 4chan, fucking <laughs> going on, uh, what was that site? Uh, fuck. You would, all right, you would basically be camming with random people. Oh, um, shit, I should know that too. Damn it. Amigo? Not, no, that's one of them. Uh, the popular one. I thought that was a popular Chat one. Chat roulette? 
Chat roulette. Oh, there we go. Chat fucking roulette. Chat we would go on there with masks and just troll people. <laughs> <laughs> just do weird shit. Man. Uh, most of it was, you know, watching dicks wink. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> Were you weird mask guy kiss the other weird mask guy? <laughs> Now Keith. Now Keith. 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 (laughs) Touch each other. (laughs) Touch each other. I mean, while we're on the subject, you guys remember it was the Rotten.com or some of the old Oh, yes, yes. The core of the, web, of the interwebs. Oh, man. That was like one of the first yeah. edgiest websites I ever went yeah. to, dude. Yeah. I think it was the edgy website that everyone went to. Because, like, that's where you, gra- you graduated from Faces of Death yep, from AOL. VHS to fucking <laughs> Rotten.com. <laughs> I graduated from AOL to Rotten. <laughs> 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 This is the real yeah, internet. Was AOL the, your first internet? <laughs> yeah. Okay, it was mine um, too. Like that was my first course, with like, actual internet. Shit, mine was Net Zero. What? <laughs> Remember that Net Zero? I dude? knew. So, so dial up. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. yeah. Dial up. Yeah. But we did move over to AOL. AOL was AOL's dial up too. Yeah. Stupid fucking dial up sound at the beginning. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it would take forever, and then sometimes it wouldn't connect. You're like motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't connect? Oh, sorry. Get off the phone! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, uh, did you just pick up the phone? Dude, <laughs> I was connecting. My mom was like legit in a uh, 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 chat like group. Mm-hmm. It was called Heckler's Online, <laughs> and she like I don't know. It's some kind of like joke, you know, fucking tell dirty joke chat. I don't know. I was too young <laughs> to know exactly what it was, but like she won prizes. She got like a mug, and she got uh, maybe a certificate or something. I remember the mug for sure. Heckler's yeah. Online. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, AOL was, like, a huge thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, like, totally. Sure. Like, I used to use it all the time, like, whenever I first started getting into it, like, for the chat rooms. Uh, that's where I found out about role-playing, like, like, like internet role-play. There is, like, no chat rooms anymore. Now no. it's just, like, forum sites, you know? Yeah. If you want to chat, you got to fucking be on that you, forum. Yeah. You got to create your own fucking... Discord like, or some yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because, uh, man, I had so much good times just going into random fucking oh, uh, chat rooms. I remember forums. And chat rooms and, and role-playing with people. Like, like not like sexual role-play, but like like LARPing role-play. Yeah. Like, I would be, I would, I would basically play D&D. Vampire with, the Masquerade. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, like, it, I, don't know, I had so much fun doing it. I mean, I also, I also met a lot of people through that. What was your favorite forums, Rue? <laughs> it was a pot one. <laughs> oh, of course, it was that's not one. your only favorite one. <laughs> but this is the one that I remember the most. Well, actually, there was a bunch of forums that I was no. part of. There's another, was there another forum. One? Yeah. What am I missing? Where'd you meet your baby's mama? Oh shit! God <laughs> yep. uh, it was called the poll page. The poll it was page. a juggalo page. <laughs> oh <Yeah>. no! <laughs> Juggalos and juggalettes. Oh no! MCL, whatever. <laughs> But, uh, that was your name? <laughs> that was your name? No, that was like, Much Clown Love, MCL. Oh, come on, okay, man. man. I'm on, okay, look. Come on, man. I thought you fucked with it a little bit. He ain't the great Malenko. <laughs> yeah, oh, my, my, my travesties of those have <laughs> only led up to about Jekyll Brothers. <laughs> From that I, So, down. what's funny about ICP, I like the majority of their music. Yeah. Um, I don't like their fan base. Um, because it, it is kind of low it's like low every, people you it's, know? it's just like every group you got bad apples you know yeah totally but like they, yeah, they, they there's I a lot mean, of them there because they, they attract those kinds of people I and because they make money at the same time now i mean oh no yeah there's definitely great people that i know yeah. that i've met throughout the years that are icb fans but that doesn't mean like you know, you know yeah yeah it is what it is so there's good <laughs> people and there are bad people in every yeah. group uh yes. But no, dude, ICP's music is fucking great, and they even do like little. Their little movies are fucking awesome. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. Big yeah, like Money Hustlers the, and Big yeah, Money Rustlers. Skits. I just saw a skit the other day too. That's something they just came out with. It just popped up on my fucking news feed, and it was funny as shit. <laughs> dude, <laughs> fucking. Oh, it's so... like it's like Limp Bizkit and Fred Durst. Like the, that dude. Like the music's kind of crappy sometimes, but like like it's fucking funny and shit. Like <laughs> some of the skits. You know what? The truth. Bam! What? Get up! <laughs> <laughs> We were talking earlier how much we knew about, like, how much we know their songs. And oh, yeah. We know a lot of their like, songs. Yeah. It's like, why, dude? Some people would say embarrassingly so, but I don't care. I don't give a fuck. I let my, my, what was it? Your inner uh, Fred Durst? No, no, it's not that. It's just what people talk about, uh, 
Guilty pleasures. I think I hate yeah. the idea of a guilty pleasure. You like something or you don't. Yeah. You don't feel guilty for liking something because it is not popular. If you like something, it's, <laughs> you like it. I have a fucking I have a dirty pleasures playlist. <laughs> <laughs> yes. On my Spotify. Dirty pleasures are fine. <laughs> dirty pleasures. Ooh. <laughs> you want to know about some of my dirty pleasures? Yeah, yes, I do. It's uh, Smash Mouth I mean, All Star. Yes, it's, it's, yeah, it's <laughs> Smash Mouth playlist. It's literally a whole Smash Mouth playlist. It's That's all I know on his dirty playlist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually got I got Smash Mouth on you. I got yeah. Lady, I got Lady Gaga. Oh, I yeah. got some Katy Perry. Shit, right. baby, okay. you're fine. You work. Okay. okay, okay. Come on, yeah, you know that. Chris yeah, is yeah. a closet pop. Everybody knows that. Yeah, dude. dude. All right, I like my pop music too. That's Get fine. Here, That's man. fine. Yeah, who does that? Yeah, I listen to some some shit. <laughs> you know what else is on here? Fucking Superman by Goldfinger. Oh, I love oh, fucking yeah. Goldfinger, dude. I've been listening go. to some yeah. Goldfinger okay. like crazy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's good shit. I got some kitty spit on here. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> oh, there it is. Stuck by Limp Bizkit. Stuck. Yeah, Great that's stuff. probably one of the best yeah. songs, too. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Come on again. Stuck. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Something, you are required as a Jack Civilian to know at least one yeah. Limp Bizkit song <laughs> completely from start to finish. <laughs> Or you know a whole bunch of them. Why you gotta be like that? Why? <laughs> like that? Why? Why you gotta be like that? Cause I gotta have food! <laughs> Get the fuck off! Get up! Yeah! yeah. 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 Uh, there's the Limp Biscuit segment, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it is required because we live Billings. in Jacksonville, Florida. Yeah. It's it's like, if, you, if you've ever seen uh, The Good Place, the character that's on there that's obsessed with the Jacksonville Jaguars, I forget his name, um... Have you, have you guys not heard no. of this? So oh, I've like, heard of the show. But okay, so there's a show called The Good I've Place, and there's a character on there that is upset, like obsessed with with Jacksonville Jaguars and Jacksonville life. Like he is a Jacksonvillean. <laughs> Jacksonville life. Yeah, oh, dude, <laughs> it's hilarious. It's like the best representation of Jacksonville ever. I love it. Duval. He does that. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think his name is Jason on the show. Oh, um, but yes, de- de- the show's worth watching because it's a fa- fantastic show. That's just like the, just makes it. The, even better. Was it in Evil Dead series or was it just um? It was an Evil Dead character series. that said it himself that he wants yeah. to be a J- Jacksonville or something. Yeah, yeah. he wants oh, to retire yeah. in Jacksonville. Yeah, that was Bruce Campbell himself yeah. said he wanted to retire in Jacksonville. Yep. dude, I remember that. Yeah, that was, I was like, fuck yeah, the place dude, so go. lovely they named it Jacksonville. <laughs> We have a nice TGI Fridays. Do you, and we yeah, do, yes. Do you? Oh, that's Deadpool. <laughs> yeah. We were With Deadpool too. Yeah, yeah, Deadpool. <laughs> Shit. It's so, there's starting to be like this weird, chaotic, <laughs> neutral cast slash good theme going with most of the characters that align themselves with Jacksonville, which is kind of interesting <laughs> to note. Because Ash is very chaotic neutral. Uh, Jason is very chaotic good. Uh, Deadpool is fucking chaotic good. So that's kind of yeah. weird. He's chaotic good. I would say he's more yeah. good than neutral. He, he has the cap- he has yeah. he yeah. has capacity to be, to be neutral. But once he became Deadpool, he's yeah. more he's more chaotic good than than he was. My, you guys are outclassing me here, man. My only knowledge of Deadpool is the fucking first movie. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna. Well, okay. So you talk about uh, Deadpool. Deadpool was good. Yeah, most of my knowledge is from those two. Well, the both of the movies, I guess. But um, okay. Read so, a little bit of some of the comics with you. Yeah. Yeah. So the 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 comics are. Will you grab me one way or Okay. Yeah. I just have a problem with the guy that created because his art is kind of meh. Yeah. Rob Whitefield is kind of. That's only the fourth or fifth time today Chris has dropped something on the floor. Yes. <laughs> is, this, is, this, is, is, this a, is this a Death Metal Chris Thursday night? Yeah, this, no, is, not not the, yeah, this is not the cooking show. Are we sure? Positive. <laughs> Fuck. I, op- I opened the cans over here this time so it wouldn't look like I was struggling to open up a fucking can. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you, sir. Like, if you actually, like, watched the last episode, you might have noticed that I'm literally, like... <laughs> I'm like for like five minutes while like Harvey was talking. I think I'm like because you're trying to not do it loud. Yeah, I don't yeah, want to be I loud. Get... Like while you're talking, so it looks like I'm struggling so hard to like open up this fucking. <laughs> well, that's oh, why man. that was episode zero, the test run, the test run. Um, this shit. one's coming out way better. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> 
Do we need to get you a fucking bib now? <laughs> <laughs> Some, some claw grips so you can pick up your Steffi traps. Oh my god. Put a leash on him, he's got to keep him real close to us. I know that's going to stay in there, so I'm just going to accept it, you know? It's, it's, Here we yeah, are. It's fucking staying in there. Yep. It's cool, man. You guys remember DOS games? Yes. Yeah. Y'all have any favorite DOS games you ever used to play? Doom. Um, yeah, that counts. Fucking Dig Dug. Was the, that was the very first game I ever played, was on... Uh, Commodore 64. Oh shit! I played that, and I can't remember the name of the ba- the game, but if the game was you were fireman and you're moving a trampoline or a trampoline across, shit, and there's the babies falling about. out of the a burning building, and you have to get them to safety. I feel like that's almost like an Atari game. It yeah, it probably it could have very well been an Atari game. As well. I had Doom like I was. I had Doom on the floppy disks. Yeah, yeah. Dude, yep, Doom, me came, too. Doom came. Doom two came on like six of them. Fuckers four or, or something. five. Yeah. Fly, yeah, something. Dude, what? <laughs> <laughs> Man, install fucking episodes and all that shit. Yeah, to install all that shit. Yeah, back it's in like the day. CD space dot dot CD space yep. Doom Doom two fucking yeah. One I remember yep. was uh, Jill of the Jungle. That was an interesting one. Oh, it's a platformer. You played with a keyboard and shit. You pick up a knife that did like this weird swirly thing that came right back to you. It was more like a boomerang, but it was a knife. The knife knife ring. <laughs> so speaking of like old games, dude, I had an IBM computer. That was my very first computer, and it came with a bunch of fucking like shitty ass games. Mm. Um, and one of them was like a remake of Pitfall. No, okay. Yeah, dude, yeah, it was pretty nice. legit, man. Um, I and, playing King's Quest on the IBM shit. And we had um, in school. There was another one called Siberia. Now this one was like legit. A badass fucking game, man. Ooh, okay, nice. Siberia spelled with uh, C Y B E R I A. Like cyber. Yeah, dude. <laughs> you know, it's super edgy. <laughs> fucking 90s, you know? Um, all like pre rendered graphics, and it was almost like a sci fi story where like you're some sort of like, you know, fucking badass action guy. You have this cool little fucking gadget on your arm, and you're going to like a secret base. Um, to find like a um, alien life form or some shit like that, and well, you don't know that at the beginning though, so you're fucking you're doing badass action hero shit like walking through you know uh, military bases and then you like steal a fucking stealth bomber plane and you're flying that through a bunch of levels shit. killing shit and then you actually get to like the secret base and you make your way through that and you find the alien you start finding alien life forms and you have to like. Uh, quarantine you have to contain this one area uh, you have to fly like a fucking drone through it and basically you have to kill Damn. fucking everything in this what area you said this was called? Siberia. Siberia they think they even made a sequel to it because the ending was so fucking good dude you get to this like alien life form you get to this fucking thing and it like speaks some real deep shit to you because this is like early Damn. video games you know they had to have yeah. a good story yeah, yeah and you're just like what the fuck and you like merge with this thing and you fly into outer space and do something, I can't fucking remember exactly how it ends, but you end up (laughs) crash landing afterwards, and, like, a rescue team comes and gets you, but that's the end of the fucking game. So, like, you and this alien thing, like, merged, and then you crashed back on Earth, and they made a fucking sequel, but, man... Dude, you talked about DOS, yeah. and you just brought back like yeah, a wave awesome of super nostalgia. Memories there. Nice. Like this wave of nostalgia. I remember like, Pharaoh's <laughs> Tomb. <laughs> it was a little platformer where you oh, collect man. stuff. Actually, one of the better ones in that series was Jetpack. Um, I don't know if y'all ever played any of that, but Jetpack yeah. on the DOS was mm. so good. One yeah. of the greatest games I think I ever played because like uh, you're just flying around with a. I mean, well, you don't initially get the jetpack at first. No. But you have to run around yeah, and collect the jewels yeah. and run yeah. around from the little fuckers. But the really cool thing about that game was it had an editor, and you could build your own levels yeah. and shit, and I loved that kind of stuff back in the day. Especially in games like Duke Nukem 3D, another another DOS game, mm-hmm. which had the uh, the old school Ken Silverman build platform. Oh, God. I used to build all kinds of shit in that. I'd probably be stupid as fuck in it today, but... <laughs> Some of the funnest crap. Like, that's what got me into, like, this is, like, pre-Minecraft shit. You could build your own stuff, build your own levels, and then run around it with a fucking gun. Right. <laughs> Doom, Doom had a good level builder. Yeah. I Might have to, been one of the same ones. Yeah, I yeah. Used, dude. I had a fucking somebody gave me a book like Doom's Programming Gurus or some shit like that. Shit. The damn book is this fucking thick, yeah. dude. That was the early days of making Doom levels until they came out with Doom Builder. Yeah, fucking thick ass book, dude. Thick. So there was something you're gonna ask me, Chris, that we've gone away from. I did, but we were on such a good flow. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so uh, there's the picture of the game. 
Nice. Siberian. Siberian, dude. Si- fucking dude. Like, you just brought back, like, this whole game that I had <laughs> nice. almost forgotten, dude. I had hey, almost forgotten about it. You could it. play it on the channel. <laughs> Yo, yes. Oh, dude, if I could find it. Yeah, oh, I should totally play. Yeah. It's an IBM, like, fucking old. I'm Windows sure there's a way to DOS box it. Yeah. DOS yeah. box. What, what's going to be on your body when you die? You mean my loot? Yeah. Yes, <laughs> your loot, your literal loot. I think loot. I think you two should go first before I go onto my because I have quite an extensive list of things. Yeah, Harvey's uh, got quite the eccentric uh, collection in his pockets. Uh, my my boring twenty ass. gold coins. Okay, yeah. <laughs> twenty gold. I'm robbing your ass. <laughs> Just my ass. No. No. I mean, you'll get some keys too, <laughs> so we can go unlock some dungeon doors. Yes. <laughs> I'm uh, going to have a, a fucking lighter and a phone. A digital information device. The <laughs> GPX is right there. G phone. Mask of hiding, plus two. <laughs> there we go. Just empty I'll leave my mask in my car because it's just much easier to do that. Yeah. yeah one person. I also carry a bunch of stuff on my persons at all times. Yeah, what you, what you uh, got? So, obviously, I have my phone. Um, and then, this is normally stuff that's on me, too. <laughs> uh, this is usually on my wrist, but it's the communicator for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. It is uh, Tommy specifically. Nice. Uh, the Green Ranger. Uh, aye, 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 aye. I have <laughs> I this know. knife that I keep on me. You knife know. guy. I'm he's knife, the, I'm he's the, the knife fucking guy. knife guy. Keep switching guy. back into the <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> Next time uh, it's gonna be you. <laughs> my, my keys, which I have a lot of keys because I have the keys to the store. Uh, if you kill Harvey and loot him, you unlock the loot. Yes, <laughs> you unlock a lot of loot. A, a, loot stash. a big lighter that says kiss me and has little, little jaws on it. Personal you know. flame device. Uh, Personal flame device. That's normal. <laughs> Flint uh, and tinder. This specific pen, it's a precise V5RT pilot because it's the greatest pen ever made. It's a very nice what pen. What the fuck? Um, I don't ever carry around a pen. This... Butt plug. This gumpy butt plug. <laughs> yes. It actually is a tree from a wooden tree from a child's playset. That, that is a gumpy um, butt plug. I'm fucking sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that is a gumpy butt plug. That is a gumpy butt plug. Someone, a friend, uh, uh, Francis Brennan, uh, made this <laughs> and gave and and I and gave it to me. So. I saw that last time, so yeah. I was like, we got to talk about this. Yes, we got to talk about uh, these uh, Gumby butt plugs. These are it came into my butt. I have <laughs> this ring usually is on me. It's a silver ring I got from my brother's wedding, and then I have this silver skull ring mm. that I've had since I was like sixteen years old. I found it in the okay, sand. One of those is wisdom. One of them is intelligence. You get yeah. stack bonuses <laughs> to them. Harvey does not wear rings on his fingers. <laughs> I know. I so all this stuff is usually on me, but like last night, I took it all off and put it in my pockets. Ah, <laughs> so okay. um, he's the loot whore this time. The pick of destiny because you always have to have the fucking pick of destiny. <laughs> the pod. And then the last, no, not last. Uh, Plus the last. Ah, the two Batman. Face, the Batman two face coin. That's the two face coin. Yeah. So that one I got from the Dark Knight special edition. Uh version of the blu-ray and then i have two guitar picks and that's that's it that's what i usually carry on me at all times <laughs> ah shit i can't catch it <laughs> i'm the worst two-face there you go you got it all right you live <laughs> oh shit yeah oh there you're oh no oh no dude oh no <laughs> two-face i'm sorry man I'll, two get you money. I'll get you the money <laughs> So yeah, I'll get you uh, your money now. You'll get plenty of loot from me. Um, and Harvey, he, and Harvey he, what's happened to you? It's not Harvey anymore. <laughs> Harvey Two Face. Oh no. Oh. Harvey Dent. <laughs> I'll dent that ass. Damn. <laughs> Bro, you yeah. have quite the uh, extensive loot stash. <laughs> I'd be sitting, you know, I'd be crawling in your butt for a good five or ten minutes trying to loot all that shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> oh, it's like, my. what else is in there? <laughs> <laughs> I go in, I go in, I lose my watch, I pull out your watch. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Someone else's watch? Who's is it? This isn't right. What's going on here? How did this happen? <laughs> How did we end up here? What the fuck? The piccolo heads in there somehow? 
The Mega Buster. Yeah, you got quite some DBZ toys here, man. That I do. It is one of my favorite shows. Mm. It was a bonding moment for me and my brother growing up. Hey, fa favorite saga. Favorite D Dragon Ball saga? Oh, uh, fuck, man. I mean, a lot of good shit to draw on. <laughs> I like the Super Saiyan Man saga. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, there's a little bit. I like Super Saiyan Man. I, I think like, it's yeah. crazy that people get... I like, I like Nerd Gohan. Yeah, he's Nerd Gohan's fucking, fucking great. great. He's, like, he's supposed to be better than Go Goku because, you know, he's a stronger fighter. He just If you stop... Since he stopped training, he's not as good anymore. It's like, no, he's he's still good. He's just... He always was. He's his own fucking person. It's what Goku probably would be if he didn't fucking, you know, hit his head as a child. Yeah. <laughs> because uh, Goku's kind of a simpleton because he got hit in the head. Um, which, thankfully so, because, like, if he didn't, he would have been the... Uh, he would have been just like all the other... Yeah, he would have been a destroyer. Yeah. Just like everyone else. Everyone else. Like, Vegeta. Mm -hmm. Fucking Vegeta. No. But talk about the greatest path, though, or the storytelling of that series. This is Vegeta to me. Oh, I mean, yeah. That guy comes from, like, complete asshole to redemption to almost even better. Like, like his story is just so good. Like, I mean, uh, that's probably my literally favorite character, yeah. Vegeta embracing Trunks for the first time is probably one of, like, yeah. the best moments for me. <laughs> Followed soon after by a... Yeah, yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, but he did it out of love. You yeah. know, he was like, "Please, I don't want my son to get hurt, so knock him out real quick." Yeah, yeah, because he's not going to listen to me, right? Because he's just—he he knows Trunks is just as stubborn as he is. Hell yeah, so that's the only—that's the only reason why he did that. Yeah, a lot of people are like, "Oh, that's a terrible parenting thing." It was like he knew, no, he knew. there's nothing yeah. that he could. Like, if you were to go, "I'm going to blow this thing up," or "I'm going to kill this thing," um, you need to get away from here. Trunks would be like, "No, I'm not leaving you," right? You know? Like right. E easily, because you know they would have both died. Yes, yes, exactly. He didn't, he didn't want his his son to to die, and he also didn't want his son to die without ever had having hugged him, um, which is yeah, a yeah, crazy fucking. And thing. he did it while he was fucking Majin. Yeah, so um, he was breaking that fucking boundary at the I same didn't know time. I was gonna cry on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Some hardcore shit, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> It's a good old dad. <laughs> yeah, but he's been an actual a human being. Yeah. Better than not... Goku. Yeah, oh my God. Piccolo is a better dad than Goku. <laughs> Fucking Goku. Hold on, let's talk about that shit, yeah. motherfucker. No. Like, and Chi Chi's like, I'm pregnant, Goku. All right, gonna go train. I got it. Oh, he's kind of like my dad. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. <laughs> Well, hey, Dad, did you go and train? <laughs> <laughs> Hope you got your muscles. <laughs> Just kidding. I love you, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> or do I mean Mom? <laughs> is joke or is? Is joke or real? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay, that got dark. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we didn't love it last time, too. <laughs> Well then, uh, <laughs> video games. <laughs> yeah, so video games. Uh, I I finished up Dead Space this week, and I beat Splatterhouse fucking nice. finally. Nice. God. Wait, did game. you finish beating that? Because I think I fell asleep. What yes, year? I okay. did beat it. It was not. I gotta an go easy back and mark that as fucking. And finale. I was yeah. I was seriously close to rage quitting. Damn. Very <laughs> close because I was just like getting so annoyed with it because I was like. There is no fucking way. I had to figure out the patterns. You know, it's just like yeah. any fucking old school game. Once you figure out the pattern or anything, it's fine. And what's bullshit is like the level right before it. The le le the, the last level before the one the last level was a you're in I guess some fleshy pit and <laughs> fleshy inside, pit inside the fleshy pit. A vagina. There are, <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and say vagina. Cool. There there are bubbles <laughs> that appear. Oh. And the bubbles that appear, if you let them grow, they'll move. And once they're moving, you, they can hit you. And the, and once they hit, they touch another part of the flesh. They turn into these little like sperm splooge things that will latch onto you. <laughs> and you are it sucks. You are oh, it sucks. Talking about a vagina. <laughs> They intended for this, didn't they? <laughs> yeah. So you you have to go through the level, and the level is just that. And I was like, man, like this is pretty. It's a. It seems like it's a really short level, but it's not because like <laughs> it's dude. the hardest fucking like enemies that you fight in the game. So you finally get to the end, and the end of the level was like your battle with the clitoris. <laughs> yeah, so I was wasting that. Like, <laughs> it's just literally just like a, a wall and like, this little it. fleshy pounding like like pulsing thing. Oh and like God. you're just supposed to punch the punch get the fuck out of it <laughs> while fighting off uh, splooge bubbles. <laughs> That's the level I, I almost rage quit on. But gentlemen, um, if you'd like to take care of your lady, please contact us at one eight hundred splooge R S. 
Scum bubbles. <laughs> we can take you to penis land. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was Penn Island. <laughs> what the fuck? But the worst part about that that whole thing was you couldn't even find the clip. So I beat. <laughs> no, I I'm finally sorry. no. I finally beat that level, but then I get to the next level and like. But wait, there's more. Yeah, but wait, there's more. The final level is like just straight platforming and, marriage, and like I the first time I got through the level, like I literally cleared the, the platforming part like perfect, and then got to the the last boss, which is a head that pops out of the ground and he has big arms that come out of the ground and. And try to swat at you. Babies. Um, there it is. Full circle. But the platforming part was way fucking easy. And I'm like, man, this is this should be way harder than it is. Like, the last level was really hard. I don't know. It was just weird. The the, the, the difficulty level was not... Uh, difficulty, like, was not congruent. Uh-huh. Like, it was just like, it got really hard all of a sudden, and then it got really easy. Yeah, because I remember, like, on the last year's episode, it was, like, so much harder. <laughs> yeah. It was and so then all of a sudden, you beat it. Yeah. Well, so I did also yeah. go at it for almost three hours. Yeah, yeah. Before, which, that's the only reason why. I just keep thinking about sex. <laughs> hard. <laughs> it got really hard. I was really, going really out for hours. <laughs> Fleshy cavern. <laughs> <laughs> All on live stream. Yeah. Oh, you were streaming the ballsy Pornhub. Move. Yeah, it's pretty, yeah, yeah, Pornhub. <laughs> that's where they have that share button there. <laughs> Wait, do they have live streams on Pornhub? I don't see why not. Where did they host that one? <laughs> I, was curious. I know that there's like live cam models or anything, but like I guess that's the same thing. I guess I don't, I don't know. I've never seen the live stream section on Pornhub. No, I mean, like, I'm not really on Pornhub for like long, extended periods of time. Yeah, that's true. It's yeah. only like a couple minutes at a time. It's short yeah. bursts. It's short yeah. bursts. Yeah, yeah. I'm with you there. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I got that. Yeah. <laughs> I got that joke. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so man we kind of just glossed over juggalos for a second yeah, yeah, a little bit because you came over to my house dressed as a juggalo the other night <laughs> i was a bone daddy <laughs> this is bone daddy you were and the, not and not jack skellington you were the he backyard was... wrestler bone daddy <laughs> yes, i'll yeah. pop up a picture right here <laughs> so you guys can see yeah, that's backyard wrestler <laughs> bone daddy yes <laughs> oh you were a wizard. I was a fucking wizard. You were kind of also we, a wizard, but I, like a death knight wizard. I was a wizard yeah. that dropped a staff. <laughs> dropping shit, really? Yeah, I'm pretty good at dropping shit. God damn it. I was under the impression we were going to dress up as our characters. So that's the reason why yeah, I Yeah, I think oh. I dropped the... The I bone. have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> you got the bone. It's a, well, you don't have to worry about dressing as a character because you're the DM. True. I mean, you could have dressed up as one of the... Oh, that would have been hilarious if you dressed up like Lady Luna. Or, yeah, yeah. One of the busty lads. <laughs> Glasses. Average boob. Average boob. Average girl. boob. <laughs> Average boob. Little backstory. We have a Dungeons and Dragons campaign going on between us. Yes. Yeah. So that's what we're referencing. Chris is our dungeon master. Uh... uh. <laughs> But really sick fucking um, World of Warcraft robe though. That was that was cool. Yes, because yeah. it's supposed to be the Death Knight first armor. Yeah, it's the okay. apprentice. Yeah, it's from Blizzard.com, and it's the yeah the apprent um, the starting gear for the Death Knights basically yeah. as a bathrobe. Nice, yes. it's pretty sweet. My friend, one of the friends I worked with had a coupon. Nice, took advantage of it. Oh, yeah, and I went out and bought some face paint and had some. <laughs> Nice clothes. Yeah, <laughs> I wore my nice clothes and my wallet chain. You for, for a closet co- for a closet cosplay. It closet cosplay. Cool. Yeah, it was pretty pretty dope. Yeah. You've done that before. You've done uh, Randy Marsh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. thrown some shit on the you already yep. had lying around. A like, five dollar shirt from Walmart. Yeah. How do you do that? I'm just easy. Shit. He's got a mom. Yeah. He lives oh, with true. Mom. Yeah. You did a you did a um, a samurai one year. You got the robe and the sword and everything. Yep. You got the pants. The sword was the most expensive part because that's real. Yeah. It did the same full thing time. Full time. Full time. Full time. Shit. I'm the knife guy again. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Got him. You also, you also did Papa Emeritus. Yeah, Ghost. now that was yeah. one of my favorite ones. Yeah, the yeah. Papa costume. Yeah, yeah, the Papa costume. Did you see that one? The, uh, the guy from Ghost. No. Oh, the, the, pope, like the priest looking the guy. Yeah, 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 guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think I did see one. that one yeah. here. Yeah. Went to the bar at that one. <laughs> yeah. If there had been a costume contest, I would have won. Yes. God well, damn it. <laughs> I got robbed in my costume contest because I make a really damn good Silent Bob. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> I used to. I don't ever have like an actual legit J. If I had an actual good J that was as good as my Silent Bob, I would kill costume con- contest because yeah. like. 
You should convince Josh to be Jay. Josh? Oh shit, he'd probably do it. I mean... <sighs> Josh is too stoner. <laughs> too Jay. He's too Jay. He's too, <laughs> Jay. He's too, Jay. too many Jays. <laughs> Looking at you, buddy. <laughs> Man, speaking of Silent Bob, though, you guys just did a, uh, a movie, a little short little yeah, short, skit. short skit that, that just came from me being, let's fucking do this and making it happen. <laughs> Jerks. Jerks. <laughs> Based on clerks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, that just came out today, in fact. Yesterday. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Really, well, I wanted, because I was kind of upset that, because I, I, I recorded a single for, for myself, the release is, uh, 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 on Halloween, and I don't have the music video done for it. So to make up for that, I wanted to put out something on Halloween. So I was wearing the costume, I went and did the costume at a, <laughs> at a costume contest. And everyone loved it so much. It's like, man, I should do something with this, you know? And we have the store. Like, we have all the means to do it. So I was like, fuck it. I'm going to write something. So Saturday, got to work. Wrote something. All day Saturday. In, like, two hours. Called Rue. Said I had something. Sent it to him. He was cool with it. So I went and picked him up. Brought him to the store. We shot it in a matter of three hours. With um, customers with coming customers. in and out of the store. Yeah. yeah. Um, Some of them are in the shot. Some of them are in the shot. <laughs> Uh, and then oh, we God, edited five it. hours of editing. Yeah, five yeah. hours of editing. It's only because, like, man, we shot multiple because we did the one wide shot, and then we did of uh, the main scene at the beginning, and then we did uh, the same scene but just close ups on each character, so we could splice it in and out or anything. And like that was the biggest part. Of that first yeah. uh, minute, two minutes of the video is was the most amount of editing I think yeah. Yeah. it needed because we did so much filming. For that one part to really put you in that moment, because like that's really setting up the the vibe for Clerks yeah. was that scene itself. Because mm -hmm. everything else is mostly cuts. It wasn't like one scene with multiple cuts or anything. It was just cut from one person to another after that, um, or the same scene that we filmed and then cut into it. Yeah, we just right. from the different perspective. Right. Flew, flew cool. with yeah. his nice little yeah, <laughs> mass, yeah, yeah. Pop, yeah. Pop his <laughs> nice little touch right yes. there. I guess I'll have to link that in the description below. Yeah, you yeah. definitely gotta throw that up in there. Yeah. That's, that's oh, really yeah, that good. awesome, man. Especially it came out like, good. so I like you have a unique perspective on it because you're not a huge clerks fan. Right. Like I've seen I've seen clerks and I've seen clerks too one time each, long time ago. So you guys have an like an original version and a director's cut. And the director's <laughs> cut is more true to the the, movie. the movies, like you yeah. guys were saying. But I kind of lose that perspective because I'm not a huge fan of the movies. So for me, the original one was like the good version for me. Right. That's good. And, and that it is and different it is, perspectives. I like that. It yeah. is the yeah. it is a better version because like the music was better curated for it. Because like we had to we had to pick songs from the original soundtrack to make yeah. it tied up to it or anything. And we could have we yeah, we could have picked different songs for for certain parts, but like musically like especially the 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 mask ripping gag, <laughs> snappy yeah. fight scene. The music yeah. there specifically <laughs> is a better choice. Like you said earlier, you were mm -hmm. telling me like, and it, you're right, it is the better choice because it, it's more slapsticky kind Slap of slapsticky, yeah, yeah cartoon. It's a goofy yeah. moment. It yeah. needs to be silly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I really liked it. Um, your your facial expressions were fucking <laughs> on point. <laughs> ah! <laughs> and. Uh, Go on, baby, round two. Yeah, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> so you you'll know if you watch it. You physically lifted Rue up. Yeah, like, I grabbed him. Yeah, yeah I, I might have done a slight foot yeah, lift, yeah. a little bit, just yeah. to get no, over the counter. There was no like, was there was no, like stepping on a thing or no, anything like no. that. No, we made it look good. Yeah, yeah. And especially now the, that we did a couple like, takes for it, because even I remember you telling me it was like. Uh, wait for the moment and come when I grab you to move because yeah. I did move a little bit on my own so yeah. we right. made it look good yeah. anticipation yeah. Right, right right it's cool to like it's cool to watch it as somebody that's somewhat familiar with you know the editing and the yeah. shooting part and then you can notice all the little things like maybe this you know you see the script in there and you see <laughs> um, you know you start noticing the like in the newspaper in the, yeah you start <laughs> noticing customers in the background yeah and, yep. and you know just Oh, how many shots did that take? Like the you know yeah. lifting you up scene. Like, <laughs> yeah. You start noticing all those little things, and you just you appreciate it a little bit more. And they're almost like inside jokes at that point. Yeah, right. It was a lot of fun to do. Good oh, job, see, that, guys. That's a yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's almost the hard yeah, part yeah, yeah, though yeah. is to figure out how to make it outside of the friend circle. You know, because like this shit might be funny to us, but is it funny to you? I think it's. I think people are so the people have seen it so far. Everyone <laughs> or you, <laughs> people have seen it so far definitely liked it a lot. 
and I think it's probably some of the best stuff that we've done in like a while, yeah. at least. You know, well, my editing skills have gotten better. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> if I edit that in right now, the finger guns. Oh, shit. crazy guy. Bam! Bam! I win! Bam! <laughs> that was weird. We died. <laughs> He shot. He shot us, Harvey. Oh yeah, uh, okay. <laughs> we're dead. I shot right. myself. <laughs> so anyway, I had a uh, I had a guy at work. Okay, we I work at a warehouse, and um, we were talking about um, what like what would it be like if forklift drivers had like their own little special competition, you know? Because <laughs> like he showed me this video of like electricians and on, on ESPN, they had their own little competition. And it was for students and, you know, getting them a, a, a college tuition and stuff. So that was cool. I was like, man, they should do that for forklift drivers. And then we kind of got on the topic of how, um, what if they were like monster trucks? You know, you could have like a forklift monster truck competition, and they would have like crazy forklift big wheelie. Yeah, they would have like crazy names, you know, like, like Forkenstein versus like, the werewolf. A were spelled W A R. The Forken knife. You could do uh, like Octo Pallet versus Lift and Let Die. Plastisu. Oh no. Or uh, Forks and Beans versus. Do you even lift? <laughs> Do you even lift, bro? Do you even lift? Do you even lift, bro? That's the fan favorite, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lift, bro. <laughs> that would probably be the Trumper scare. You know, you got like, I don't know, man. Some crazy forklift monster truck names. <laughs> I went kitchen with all that for some reason. Blast <laughs> yeah. Blast away. Blast away. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Didn't you play a game where you had Shenmue to like, too. race forks or something? Yeah. <laughs> race forks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, they were three pronged and they go fast. No, in Shinmu there is fork for for forklift racing. racing. Yeah. Um which was the best part of the forklifting. Although of the menial jobs that I had to do in that game, the forklifting was probably my favorite. <laughs> you made money on it, too. Yeah, you yeah. made good money off of it. And that's what I used to buy my chicken to, uh, my chicken to China. Chicken. <laughs> chicken to China. <laughs> chicken to China. Chicken to China. Uh, the Chinese, Chinese chicken. chicken. Yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> Can you bring stuff? Watch the next guilty time. Pleasure. Yeah. Like, so, <laughs> oh, the Smoky Man is That's on his Guilty Pleasure playlist. <laughs> yes, it's it probably is. mine, too. Yeah. yeah. Bare naked ladies. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That game was so crazy because it, it was like it was more like a bunch of mini games rather than like <laughs> yeah you know its Darts. Own thing. right but uh, I, I I learned to like it because in the beginning like I didn't I didn't like the game until I real until I figure out how to play the game and then I was like oh, okay this is cool and I was into the story by that point it's like because it's very jarring in the beginning because like you're just like left to your own devices and like yeah. games at that time didn't really do that like it wasn't just like Here's a world you live in. Figure out the story. <laughs> yeah. Here's a little bit of the story, and then the rest is like, yeah. do you know any sailors on the north side of town? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can you tell me where to get into a fight? Yes, going around looking for yeah. fights. Because that happens in real life. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure some people do that. I like, wasn't the ending of that game just basically like a Tekken fight or some shit? Oh, like, oh no, yeah, like a, like a battle royale almost. Like, yeah, yeah, a bunch of motherfuckers. Oh, yeah, like a fight. bunch yeah. of dudes at the way. But it was yeah. like Virtual yeah. Fighter yeah. more than anything. I yeah, think. It was more, yeah. yeah, which is awesome. I'd kick, kick much ass in that Kick game. much <laughs> ass. Much ass in this kid. And that stupid squirrely guy. I forget his name. Chai. Chai. Whee! I hate that yeah. guy so much. <laughs> He's supposed to come back in the second one, which I hope I get to kill him in this one now. I don't think so. <laughs> I think he might be in the third. Oh my god! <laughs> might be. I don't know. I haven't. I only seen some screenshots, but I'm pretty sure I saw that crazy motherfucker. Oh man! But yeah. Uh, but shit, the, the mini games only got better on that series. So like, you've got a uh, because you well, you haven't played the second one yet, but uh, no, I have played the, the second, second one. Got, yeah. Okay. So oh, Pachinko. Yeah. They got Pachinko yeah, in there. Yeah. Pachinko. In That's there. a good one. We, we skipped over Space Harrier altogether in the first game. Space no, Harrier was so played, good. I played Space Harrier. No, I know that. I've been talking about it to the, to oh, the folks. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah, Space Harrier yeah. was a great fucking part of it because I never told you about the clock yeah. to pass the time. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Until, just, like, the last episode. I'm like, hey, you can look at your watch, too. Uh, watching him suffer. Yeah. yeah. He <laughs> knew, yeah, yeah. I knew what I was doing. Oh, man. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of space Rune area. played me like a puppet <laughs> through through the Shinmu game, like letting me he because like 
He knew things Pressing that I should... F on the world's smallest keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> Playing that little tiny violin, you know? Oh, man. <laughs> Tap an F. <laughs> Show my respect. Oh. <laughs> but hey, you got a lot of good content out of that. Yeah, yeah. A lot of space area, a lot of darts. That was some good yeah, shit. Darts. Yeah, darts. I learned how to get really good at darts in that game because it was so much fun. And then Final Fantasy VII Remake? Oh, That's probably, darts? Yeah, I destroyed that dark destroyed game. Destroyed that shit, dude. Like, like in the literally. first time. No, I so the first I yeah, I beat it the yeah. first time I played it, but then I played it the second time and I got the perfect score and I was like, well I can't I don't need to play darts anymore. <laughs> beat darts. <laughs> I I critted on darts in the second go round. Like So is is that and that spoiler alert real quick, uh is that gone after Sector Seven? You can't go back and play darts anywhere? Or is that somewhere else in Midgar or no, I think I think it was just in that one spot. Damn, that was it. That's the only time you get to play darts. Right. In spoiler alerts. Yeah, um, <laughs> I think the game's been out enough for another point in time. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> I mean, wait, did, it came out this year, right? Yeah, but I mean, that's a uh, part in the game that's been there since the classic game. So, yeah, that's I mean, true. Yeah, not really spoiling much. <laughs> yeah, you know, I was thinking. Uh... I have some more bad dating advice. <laughs> <laughs> bad dating advice part two. Bad dating advice from the internet. <laughs> <laughs> That's the duct tape. That's the duct tape. It's a duct tape, man. I need some duct tape, man. Okay. What you got, buddy? Uh, <laughs> so I want to talk about something. I want to talk about signs. Okay. Then how do you know if a girl likes you or not? Okay. I thought you were going to go with astrological signs astrological. for a second there. No, <laughs> oh, no, shit, she's no, a goddamn no, cancer. No, he's talking, not, he's not that. He's not I know what you mean. I'm talking about crop circles in you know, <laughs> the M. Night Shyamalan movie, man. Water you, kills You bitches. just sit her down and you make her watch that movie and you judge every <laughs> fucking reaction she makes, dude. Oh, and man. that's how you know. The signs are the signs. The signs, yeah. You make her watch signs. Easy. It's right there. It's been Fucking, right there all along. That's actually yeah. pretty good advice. Yeah. No, it's terrible. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It's terrible. <laughs> Do the exact opposite of what I said. Okay. So we went to... Watch we, another movie. Yeah, watch a different movie. <laughs> <laughs> Star we, Wars? We were watching... We were at, um, uh, I think it was uh, one of our friend's birthday uh, at the Roadhouse. Okay. And we were all there. Along with uh, Mikey and um, you know a lot of our other friends, yeah. and this uh, one of um, Casey's friends was there. Mm-hmm. Okay, and you know was like, if a girl comes up and talks <laughs> to you, she is interested. <laughs> for the love of God, if the girl makes the first move, God damn it! Was it a move though, or yeah. was it just conversation? No, it was a. <laughs> If they come up and talk to you first, it's pretty much like, hey, I, you know, I find you attractive. Okay. Yeah. Like, yeah. Girls, uh, that's, that's my experience so far. Okay. Because from the story from there goes like, we, she invited us back to her place. Okay. And, uh, I took you along for a ride. I'm now realizing what night you're talking about. Thank you. Oh my god, you are absolutely right. But yeah, was, such, is, that, was I there? <laughs> yes, we were, we were all, all there. there. My, I completely forgot about that in the evening. Yes. What was her name? I'm not gonna. We're not gonna say names. Oh my okay. god, you're gonna have to tell can me. Can someone give this. me a clue about this night? No, so I can you, this was a you were. Did Rue go to the after party? I want to say. Mm, I thought it was just me, you, and like other people. Mike, Mikey, and Casey were there. Yeah, there was a party was you and me. prior. Uh, yeah, we yeah, were at Jamie, It was Jamie's birthday. It was Jamie, for, yeah, for Jamie. Okay. I remember. Not Casey's that we're naming birthday. names. Okay, well, our friends. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> these are just general names. You don't know if they're a guy or girl. Yeah, those our, are names. Our, friend, guy or our girl. friends, I think, are safe. We've yeah. already mentioned Mike before. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he puts. Um, a, I feel if you put yourself on the internet, you're okay. Yeah. We could. We can make, say your name. But anyway, moving um, on. Okay, so obvious interest from the lady and me being like <laughs> from the internet. Obvious, yeah, oblivious <laughs> from the internet. I guess I don't fucking know. Yeah. Like, just did not really pick up on it. You know, uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe I just wasn't like in the mood for a one night stand. Maybe I was looking for something a little more serious. I yeah. don't fucking know what was going on, but just like I did not clue in on it, and I was like. I invited Harvey to come with us. Yes. So I was Harvey's fucking ride. Yes. So it's not like I could stay there and do the one night stand. <laughs> what the fuck was Harvey going to do? You know? like I mean, I would have dipped if it came to that, but so, that never even came um, up. Uh, I ended up going on a date with that girl after that night. Okay. 
Okay, so this is probably where the story might start. Um, when a girl asks you, what do you, what do you look for in a girl? The answer is definitely not, don't nag me all the time like my mom does. Ooh. <laughs> That is definitely not, that's the, not the right. Well, uh, while honest, probably. It's definitely, <laughs> honest. definitely very honest. Yeah, it is honest as fuck. Can't fault you for that one, <laughs> but goddamn, that is not the answer that a girl is looking for. I've had I have a relationship with a girl now that has come over and it has dealt with my mom for multiple years. So what I said is definitely not a lie. But but that is not, not the thing you not the, answer. Maybe not at first. That's yeah. what you lead with. Yeah, you don't <laughs> weird lead, thing to lead with. You don't lead weird with that. Weird flex. Uh, okay, what is it? Weird flex, but okay. Not even a weird flex. That's just the don't bitch at me like my mom does. Yeah, don't bitch at me like my mom does. <laughs> like, come on, dude. Turn off the damn lights when you leave a room. <laughs> and I'm the one that's bad at that, and I'm a fucking guy. Oh, Fuck. man. The AC is on too loud. <laughs> it's cold in here. <laughs> Drive straight for the love of God. Pay some bills. <laughs> Move out. M- Move out. <laughs> oh, see, that's on me too. <laughs> Just get out. I can't. I can't relate. Uh, uh, Harvey's the most eligible bachelor of the last <laughs> three. He's the only scumbag. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going there, but okay. I'll say we, we both live with our parents. Now. <laughs> what the fuck? He's just, you know, cashing in on the millennial trait that, you know, self deprecation is something that needs to be said at all times. Oh, absolutely. It's like, it's our obligation. Yeah. yeah. It's very PC right it's now. It's very uh, non offensive to make fun of yourself. Yes, exactly. There we go. In this cancel culture age. <laughs> Which we ain't giving a shit about with half yeah, of this. Fuck, yeah. fuck your cancel culture. Yeah, fuck that. Noise. Cancel this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to fist my own anus on the next podcast. <laughs> <laughs> to prove you're not gay. <laughs> this is totally weird not flex. Not if you do it yourself. You want a weird flex? <laughs> Watch the next episode. <laughs> Fist of Cups, episode two. <laughs> Fist and Steph? <laughs> fist and Steph. <laughs> oh, man, can we tie it Chris Fist and Steph. Chris Fist and Steph. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay, here's some good advice about signs. Uh, if or, and, and mixed signals, specifically. Mixed signals are a no. <laughs> no! Just don't even go down that path. Because you will fucking hate yourself forever. That's so signals. anytime someone gives you mixed signals... Just, just assume it's a no. I love that meme where it's like green light, red light. Yes. <laughs> You're trying to figure out if you laugh by light you or not. Yeah, exactly. Oh my god. So, uh, you guys are big Zelda fans. Yeah, yeah I would say that. I what, so. What's your, who's your favorite uh, Link in all of the different like games? Glad you did that right. <laughs> um, who's your favorite Zelda? Yeah. <laughs> She's kind of this princess the whole time. <laughs> but so is Hank. I don't know. Shit, that's a good one. So um, I don't have any answer for this question. So you play some Zelda, have, have you? But not like... Not really, but not like... Yeah. yeah. So this is all you guys. Hmm. Well, I know you're a big fan of Minish Cap. I know you I like do, that one a lot. I do like Minish Cap a lot, but that's still not my favorite one. <sighs> I'm going to have to go with the fucking... I like the Twilight Princess link. I think yeah. that, that that whole era right there in that area where it finally was like... Ocarina of Time gets dark and looks cool as shit. But at the same time, fucking Breath of the Wild was pretty good too. Yeah, Breath of the Wild I think is probably like the definitive link for sure. Like oh, far as like oh, I don't know about definitive though. I mean, I mean because that was the first game he didn't have the the green barb. There was no more of that. I mean, you he could get the, it, but he, it's the it's the first link. It was, uh, no. Well, it was no, no. more. It was more on yeah. on the character of Link. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Than but, just the costume of what he wore and yeah. how he always was. Sword, shield. You could do a whole lot different this time. Right. But Link true. was the fucking hero. Yeah. I mean, he's always been a hero, but like the like, fucking superhero this time. Right. Hundred years dead, came back. Yeah. I'm God, Link. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Twilight Princess Link. Yeah. But I, I thought that was the coolest looking one because he was you know, oh, as far as looks a, go, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess well, aesthetic too. The dungeons lo- always look pretty cool. The Temple of Time was a sweet fucking dungeon. Is this like the Dark Souls of Zelda? So it's <laughs> the closest thing to a Dark yeah. Souls. Yeah, that's actually the, what you're looking at is the E3 uh, pre pre game. Yeah, that's not actually. But yeah, it, yeah, I would say it's. Meh. 
that's cool. It was definitely much more mature in that yeah. aspect, you yeah. know. But um, shit, gameplay wise, though, I mean, I, I, while I did like Twilight Princess, I don't think that's my favorite gameplay game. No. I think that's more uh, probably a link to the past on the Super Nintendo. That's probably probably the best one for me. Yeah, I love that game a lot. See, I really like Breath of the Wild. Like, it was just yeah. so much fucking fun to play that game and like comfortable to play. Like, it was like Skyrim meets fucking Zelda. Like, mm-hmm. it was amazing like like i could literally do whatever i want in, in whatever order i want like it was literally supposed to like it was the very very first game on crack yeah or modernized essentially because like it took the same like the whole idea that the first game had because the very very first game of nes you could literally go and do any dungeon you want to in whatever order you wanted yeah to. the same in breath of the wild yeah 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 pretty like much that, that was basically that's why i feel like that is the yeah. definitive version of the series well i'd say know? breath of the wild probably has the more solid gameplay aspect because you go through an intro area and you get the stuff that you're going to need for the rest of the game and you right. can do it however you want. I remember right. watching you play Breath of the Wild yeah. and I thought, that was, I thought the exact same thing. This is yeah. Skyrim on fucking Zelda. Yeah. But you could like climb up cliffs and stuff. Yeah. Like that was so cool. I thought, yeah. you know. My favorite Link I'm torn between Link to the Past Link and Wind Waker honestly. Yeah. Like, Wind, Waker, Wind Link. Waker Link was awesome he's actually not a link like in the traditional sense like the other ones yeah, are. cartoon link that's the fucking yeah. cartoon yeah. Yep. cartoon yep. link yeah <laughs> but, but I'll tell you what like, the game though was so it's good fantastic. yeah the game I've was had such a yeah, fantastic I love that yeah. dude the remake's <laughs> awesome yeah. because of, in the re- they did it on the Wii U and the Wii U has the gamepad controller and the gamepad controller it's right over there I threw it yeah, I threw okay it anyway there. so yeah. the gamepad controller you know, when you're playing it or anything, you can you have a, a picto box, which is a, a camera, mm-hmm. and you use it to take pictures, right? You can switch the camera around and take selfies. Awesome. Mm. So that's how you got that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> At the time when, when Wind Waker came out, though, it was like such a detractor from everything else that had come out. Like, it was really solid game. Right. Like, I had a really fun time with that. I thought the story was really good. You get to... I wasn't really the biggest on the sailing of the seas, but like yeah, once you got past a little bit of that part, it was just going from island to island and shit. Right. And once you got there, there was some expansive areas right. like that you can travel through and shit. Like the forest temple, pretty big. The wind temple, pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah. You know, like Wind Waker is probably like I've always liked it ever since I played it whenever yeah. it came out. Like a lot of people hated on the game. It was popular. They hate that game yeah. because everyone's like, "Oh, the cel shaded graphics are terrible." I was like, no, like this game solid is solid game. It's yeah. an amazing fucking Zelda game. It's a fucking Zelda adventure. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a great Zelda game. Like, and, and, like people just fucking wanted to hate on it because of graphics. And uh, shit, you could say that Twilight Princess was pretty much almost the same thing. I mean, they came out kind of right next to each other. They were the back to backs right. at the time, you know, on right. the GameCube. So, right. But but it was so totally different because instead of the ocean world, you had the regular world. I mean, right. it was more like Ocarina probably than Wind Waker. But I mean, when you come out with the same. You just got adult graphics and you got cartoon graphics. And that just, was really the only contractor to, to the right. two of them, you know? Which is funny because Wind Waker was a, Both great a, adventures. was a sequel to Ocarina. Yeah, yeah. Like a hundred year in the future sequel. Yeah. Well, so was Twilight Princess, just on the other timeline. On the other timeline, yeah. 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 After Majora's Mask. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What about Mario games? I know you're big on Mario games. You played played some Mario games. I Favorite played, Mario? I played um I played Mario uh, Super Mario Three with Thunder Squid. Mm, on yeah. one, of her, mm. one of her early streams, so yeah, we got pretty, we got pretty wasted on that. Yeah, one. But, um, <laughs> I feel like, I feel like, um, I might, she might have been slightly disappointed with the fact that I have never beaten that game. <laughs> I've never beaten, like, she's it's, also like the pro of that game. Yeah, too. Like, she's yeah. like really good. I've never seen anyone Which, as good. You know in what? That game Maybe hindsight her. was actually a perfect contrast. Yeah, you know, <laughs> the best enjoy to lose versus the worst. Because <laughs> like. I am trash at like Mario games. I've never beaten Mario. I've never beaten Sonic. Yeah, I've never beaten like those platformer games. Yeah. You know, my my first game I beat was Super Mario Brothers at the age of four. I had to show my parents how to how to beat it because they didn't know how to beat the game. Nice. And it, it, it was and I was so good at the game. They would ha- they invite their friends over to uh, watch me play it. You see, mine was Zelda One. I can yeah. beat Zelda One at a very young age. I beat my dad. No. Beat your ass, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you know it. <laughs> I also used to go back on his file, and I think I made this mention in one of the Let's Plays that we did, that I did on uh, probably A Link to the Past, was that uh, when I got to the Ice Temple, 
<coughs> this is where my dad historically got stuck because mm. it's kind of a hard dungeon in the Link right. to the Past. And uh, I remember just blazing through the motherfucker. I was like, oh, I know where I'm going. And so I went onto his file and I beat it. And he got mad. <laughs> He's like, oh, you beat my file? Mm-hmm. I was like, well, I'm way back there. You're way farther than me. <laughs> so I literally had picked up the sticks and started playing where he was and beat it. Damn. Not even having any other prior. No, I was on my own file prior to that. But I was just like, oh, let me go a little further. <laughs> let me skip ahead. Cool. The, first, the, first, uh, the first warp skip. The first ah. level skip. Oh shit! Which game and which Mario? You. I'm just saying about... you. I'm just saying oh, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That's file. like a real life world skip. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let me get you your file. <laughs> Have you guys ever heard of the band called Anal Cunt? No. Yes. <laughs> My man. My man. <laughs> you fucking stabbed me with your fucking. I think I did. I got you. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Sorry. Am I bleeding? I don't know. Oh, Jesus. Do I have the corona now? I gave you some anal cunt. <laughs> <laughs> got the okay. nail, bro. So, anal cunt. Um, I'm gonna say that as many times. I'm gonna get that in there as many times as anal I cunt. can. Okay. Anal so cunt. it's just gonna be anal, anal cunt. <laughs> yeah. What kind of music is this? It is grindcore. Grind. Grindcore. Okay. Grindcore, right, dude. That, that checks. Out. Goddamn, anal cunt. They really paved the way in like some good old gore. Grind. Grind. <laughs> okay. Core. So what's the difference between gore grind and grindcore? Gore grind is kind of more um, groovy, and they have the deep, the deeper, more monster process vocals. Okay. Right. Grindcore is more fast, hyper, fucking blast beats, and like screaming, incoherent yeah! vocals, yeah, yeah. Like, okay. shit like that. So as opposed uh, to ooh. Hi, I'm Chris from the internet. I'm Fanny Warning, and I'm Rooster Retro. This has been the Stay Away from the Search Bar podcast. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And hit that bell notification icon to be reminded of future uploads. And go fuck yourself. See you next time. (laughs) (laughs) No more penis.